Now that the strain gauges are attached, we're going to prepare the lead wires for soldering. In order to do that, we we'll carefully positioning each lead wire over one single of these um, soldering pads. We make sure that none of the lead wires is bent around a sharp corner. So very smooth movements. Actually, as you can see, I'm only very slightly supporting the lead wire at one side. I'm not grabbing it with, the, um, with this tool here because I don't want to introduce a sharp bend which could later on break. If I have a lead wire that's already straight, I still introduce a very slight bend in order to provide a bit of compliance for the impact. And um, I make use of this fixture here, turning the bar around in the process and preparing all of the lead wires. <clears throat> Last one. Once I've done that, <clears throat> take a bit of tape and fix the lead wires in place. Now that that's done, I'm going to prepare for the soldering. So the first thing I do is to cut off a good bit of one of the cables. What I do then is to open up the shielding Here we go. Now I need to prepare the ends using whatever tool is feasible and cut off around 5 mm of the insulation. Now, I put that here temporarily. Same time, I'm going to prepare further wires. Need two more. Approximately that length. and do the same here. A bit more difficult with this insulation. Done. With that done, I can now prepare all the soldering by using soldering flux.
This I distribute of all areas where I have to solder. So, this string gauge cable these two additional wires and after I've done that the most important part I have to distribute that over the soldering paths and the lead wires from the strain gauges I must not put too much here. Done.